going on guys I want to do a real quick follow-up on the six inch digital caliper recommendation from eye gauging and show you real quickly the one inch mic that was supposed to have come with the set uh, now as I mentioned you can buy these in sets for a slightly discounted price of what they would cost individually uh, this is one version of that I believe they also have a couple other options where you can get a slightly uh, cheaper caliper with this micrometer or a slightly more expensive uh, or relatively more expensive micrometer with this caliper and uh, that one uh, will come with the speed mic uh, it's a fairly newer design from uh, I think solely this company I think they created it came up with it and uh, it's basically just a solution to getting uh, quick measurements with a c-framed mic instead of having to rotate the uh, handle a bunch of times to open and close it uh, it's actually controlled by a spring lever and uh, goes in and out uh, nice and quickly and smoothly and actually looks like a really nice uh, micrometer and uh, they've got it in one inch and I think larger sizes as well but uh, it is significantly more expensive uh, this one will run you by itself about sixty three sixty four dollars uh, that one on its own, as far as Amazon prices go, is about 150 But uh, certainly worth looking into, and uh, I think probably well worth the money. Uh, I opted for the slightly less expensive model, uh, as it'll be more than adequate for my needs. And uh, this set together, it was an open box, supposed to have come both at the same time, uh, for about $73, $74 after taxes and shipping. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, they messed up the order and only sent this. And uh, this is kind of a newer design box, I think. Uh, I thought this one was coming in a similar as well, but that's really no big deal. But uh, normally, uh, this set will run you about 95 you know, 90 to $95, give or take, eBay or Amazon. And uh, I think it's well worth the money, uh, even at twice the price. So uh, just to show you quickly what's in this. Uh, it's got a really nice box, you know, clear you can see what's in there or that it is in there. You got this little hanger on the back, probably more for uh, selling or hanging in stores than on a workbench. I'm not sure you'd want to hang it up in case it got ripped off or fell on the ground. But uh, opening the box, you've got a basic uh, one page instruction front and back. I won't go over that. And there's plenty of good reviews on these on YouTube. I encourage you to check out. Uh, here you got, I believe, is just a wrench for the battery compartment. It's got a wide uh, kind of flat head to open and close. I'm not sure what the S shape is really for. Uh, if that's got some other purpose, they don't really go over that on the instruction. I mean, I guess you can kind of hang it on stuff if you want. But uh, maybe somebody else has an idea on that. I'd love to hear it. Let's see, put that back in there. Also got a spanner wrench, which I assume is for adjusting this if need be. Maybe for adding or taking off anvils or spindles. Looks like it's got a couple of sizes there. Again, they don't really mention any of that in the instructions. And uh, this one's actually got a compartment for a spare battery, which is nice. It's a 2032, same as the calipers. I think they pretty much standardized the same battery for all of their digital measuring equipment because that's what's used in the other pieces I own. And then uh, finally there's a little end cover for your spindle for measuring inside uh, curved surfaces and such. And uh, that's supposed to go in here. A little bit loose, it will fall out on you if you don't put something over it. But not a big deal. And uh, finally here's the uh, digital mic ignore the stitches. That's another story But uh, overall this is really quite uh, more robust uh, Than I thought it would be. Uh, it's quite solid heavy feeling sturdy uh, Mostly steel and metal uh, a little bit of plastic on the ends here and the covers There is a screw on cover for a port for hooking in for data uh, recovery or recording uh, Using for cam software and whatnot there's the back with the battery compartment. I believe this is IP65 rated. You guys can look that up. That's for dust, water, 
uh, liquids, things like that, if I recall. And then I turn it on. Not a huge display, but not too small either. And uh, it is zero, and it does have an absolute feature. And uh, if you hold this in, I believe for more than two seconds, it should switch to millimeters. And then more than a couple seconds back to inches. Uh, this data, I think, is for using with a cable to record onto your computer. And then uh, you can hold this in to zero it, but we don't need to do that. And then uh, it's got a click to set your tension. See, we're zeroed. It actually goes up to half of a ten thousandth, which I don't think I'll ever need anything that precise, uh, if even in the ten thousandths. But, uh, you know, it's there if you need it. And uh, everything's nice and smooth. And uh, one nice thing about this is uh, you do have a standard vernier style caliper or micrometer. Uh, if the battery were to die or, you know, if you just wanted to leave it off, you can use this like a standard mic. So uh, that's a nice little feature. Their speed mic, the new one I was mentioning, that's uh, quite a bit more money than this. Uh, it doesn't have that, but it just has kind of a little lever you actuate the spindle in and out. It's pretty nice. But uh, this will certainly be more than adequate for anything I'll ever use. And uh, here's the little tightening knob there to hold it. And uh, that is made of plastic, but it's not like you're banging these things around anyway, so it should be just fine for most applications. So there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Definitely check these guys out. Well worth the money.